welcome back uh, to my lecture industrial biotechnology now today i want to discuss uh, another new fermentation process that is the glutamic acid fermentation process now uh, we know that uh, that there are 20 uh, essential amino acids that is very much required for us because uh, because essential amino uh, no, no, there are uh are there are uh, 20 different amino acids that we have in nature that is fermentation combination they form the different type of protein molecules so we one protein molecule that is uh, uh, protein uh, that one amino acids uh, part of the protein molecule that is uh, that plays very important role uh, uh, that that is the glutamic acid now let me tell you that uh, little bit introduction to this glutamic acid because uh, glutamic acid is considered as two amino penta penten dio acid or uh, two amino glutaric acid it can be either of this way we can so we can see that uh, it has this amino group we know all the amino acids they have the amino group and the carboxylic acid group plus we have ch um, ch2 and c w is that we have so if you if you look at the glucuronic acid is the alpha amino acid with the formula of this now <laughs> one thing i want to point out what is the uh, importance of the amino acids in our day to day life because it has been observed that utilization efficiency of any protein depends on the amino acid composition because if the amino acid they are not present in a proper particularly essential amino acid they are not present in a proper way then the utilization efficiency of that uh, particular amino acid reduced to a great extent the now glutamic acid uh, we use uh, the, uh, largely in the uh, in the food item because it has so it gives some kind of typical flavor to the food that is uh, so it is chemically empirically it says that c5 h9o4n this is the empirical formula that we have and as i told you that it has two carboxylic acid group and the ch22 nh2 and ch that is the basically for molecular structure is idealized in this form with a two carboxylic group and one amino acid group now the acid can lose one proton from second carboxylic acid group to form a conjugate base and and singly negative anion glutamate so this is how it forms the monosodium glutamate because which is largely market marketed that is this anion is also responsible for the enemy <coughs> flavor of certain food and use for glutamate flavor flavoring that is monosodium glutarate in the abbreviation form we call it msg now that glutamic acid is used as a nutritional supplement uh, for food because as as i told you that if a food has uh, some shortage of uh, kind of amino acid then we find that if we if we have weight balance then utilization efficiency increases to a great extent such as processed food like cheese i have already explained what is cheese this cheese is a uh, kind of fermented food that is used for the storing the milk protein and fat and processed food we know the processed food uh, particularly we have several processed food now we now we have in the in our market because uh, whatever food that is available in a particular season so due to the uh, due to the invention of this uh, canned food or processed food it is possible to have this food, particular food throughout the year because we can preserve this for throughout the year we have processed milk like this particularly for military people who who walk in a very remote areas they use this processed food and soups <coughs> then we have wine seasoning yogurt canned syrup and crab these are the 
<coughs> different fruit we use glutamic acid the is as a as a nutritional supplement as well as it it gives some kind of flavor to it then in beverage glutamic acid used as a flavor enhancer in beverage such as soft drinks and wine now use of uh, glutamic acid in health health and personal care glutamic acid can be used in cosmetics and personal care product because in day to day life there are several uh, cosmetic products so it is used for the cosmetic and the personal care product glutamic acid can be used as a baby product bath product cleaning cleansing uh, product eye makeup saving uh, preparations hair and skin care products cosmetics and personal care products glutamic acid function primarily as a hair conditioning agent and a skin conditioning agent this is nowadays lot lot of lot of uh, us is very careful about our our skin as well as our hair so glutamic acid uh, plays or uh, important role for keeping the quality of that particular uh, materials and agriculture and animal feed and poultry glutamic acid can be used as a nutritional supplement in agricultural animal feed and and kind of uh, poultry feed because I, i i told you that utilization efficiency of the protein greatly increase if you if you if you see in any any food product that the deficiency of a particular Mm, uh, amino acid. If you give it, that utilization efficiency increases to to some extent. Particularly, if you look at the essential amino acid, that plays very important role. Now, <coughs> disadvantage of glutamic acid. There are several high dose dose causes that sweating because uh, this is the this is the one disadvantage we have. It causes the high blood pressure. This is another disadvantage we have. the sugar in chocolate this is particularly for the children they take the chocolate to a great extent and the sugar in chocolate provides an excellent substance for growing the bacteria because this is a amino acid so bacteria can grow very because this is kind of considered as a nitrogen source bacteria can grow very easily which produce acids uh, that causes the tooth decay and fattening so this is the this is the problem that we have with this uh, this chocolate because chocolate they have this detrimental effect maybe due to this uh, this particular amino acid because it helps for the growth of several bacteria now if you look at the history of the glutamic acid the substance was discovered and identified in the year 1866 by german chemist was the calls Henrich uh, Rittensen that uh, who treated the wheat gluten for which he, he it was named with sulfuric acid we we all know that uh, wheat contains lot of gluten because that is kind of protein that we present in the wheat flour so you know that uh, so called <coughs> he identified that uh, gluten uh present in the and he treated with this sulfuric acid and from that he recovered this kind of glutamic acid and since it is coming from gluten so it is called glutamic acid because name has come for that 19 in 1908 japanese researcher that is akida um, of tokyo empirical university identify brown crystal left behind after the evaporation of large amount of combo uh, broth as uh, as uh, as uh, glutamic acid the combo broth you know kind of fermented product that if you if you if you if you, if you evaporate and after that uh, that there is some uh, brown crystal remain and they identify this as a glutamic acid in the late 1950s the fermentation technology was established and used for the commercial production of glutamic acid and mostly we target for the production of monosodium glutamate now <clears throat> industrial method for the glutamic acid both the biochemical as well as chemical methods are available because since this course deals with the industrial 
biotechnology. So, I shall try to concentrate on the bio, bio, biochemical processes. The industrial method for the glutamic acid can be classified as hydrolysis of protein compounds. As I mentioned that first uh, identification that uh, done from gluten molecule by the by the German scientist calls and uh, then also the it is uh, microbial fermentation process we can produce and besides that chemical process also can be used for the production of glutamate. Now, <coughs> the first let me discuss how the protein through protein hydrolysis we can produce glutamic acid. Now, <laughs> this is the acid hydrolysis of protein rich compound. The raw material used in this process are those protein rich in glutamic acid such as gluten, soybean cake and casein. So, these are the these are the material that usually considered as the raw material for the production of glutamic acid. The raw materials is hydrolyzed by concentrated hydrochloric acid in corrosion resistant kettle, we know kettle is kind of you, you either made of glass or rubber line uh, for 5 to 6 hours as 110 degrees centigrade. So, if you heat it in presence of this hydro, hydrochloric acid, then the material, this material, this is gluten, uh, soybean cake and casein, they get hydrolyzed. And when the protein is completely hydrolyzed, charcoal like humus is removed by filtration because <coughs> and then the filtrate is then concentrated in vacuum that uh, uh, vacuum evaporation we can concentrate the filtrate. Now, acid hydrolysis of protein rich compound the concentrated syrup liquid is cooled down to minus 5 degree centigrade for several reasons several hours and during this process of cooling the hydrochloric acid salt of L glutamic acid crystallizes out. So, when you cool down then in the solution I, we have already seen in case of citric acid fermentation process also as your temperature reduces then the citric acid crystals will be separated out. Here also it is similar to that if you when you make a solution of concentrated solution of this hydrolyzed material and cool it down to minus 5 degree centigrade then crystalline of, uh, of uh, glutamic acid hydrochloride that will be crystallized out. The crystal glutamic acid is separated from the mother liquid by mechanical means. Mechanical means by centrifugation or uh, by filtration. This is kind of phys uh, physical separation technique we use for the separation of this uh, crystals. The glutamic acid hydrochloride it re dissolve in the hot water and iron is removed from the salt solution and the solution is then decolorized with uh, sodium sulphide and activated charcoal. We have already pointed out activated charcoal largely used in the industry for the decolorization of the solution which is largely both is used in chemical and biochemical industries. Now, finally, the crystalline that uh, gl glutamic acid is obtained by adjusting the pH of the solution with the isoelectric point pH 3.2 and separating the precipitate. This is the, this is the finally we can separate out particular these glutamic acid like this. Now, if you if you look at the uh, the the steps involved in this particular glutamic acid for that uh, process from protein hydrolysis, so we take gluten, we swab in cake and casein. First, we hydrolyze with respect by adding the hydrochloric acid. The, the hydrolysis takes place. You do the filtration to separate the humus or kind of organic material that we have. And then we concentrate it in vacuum. Then we cool it down and crystallize. And the crystals we separate it out we get uh, glutamic acid hydrochloride crystals in uh, uh, the, the HCl mother liquor you can make a solution then add sodium sulphide and then for removing the iron then we add activated carbon to remove the color and then we, we uh, adjust the pH to 3.2 and then we separate the uh, glutamic acid the glutamic acid mother liquor. We, we separate the glutamic acid that is how it is done. 
Now, let me tell you something about the microbial fermentation process, how it is done. The here, the microorganism that is used is Micrococcus glutamicus. This is the kind of microorganism that is used for the glutamic acid production. Now, in the culture media, we require different carbon, we require carbon source like glucose or <coughs> acid hydrolysate uh, of starch. What do you mean by acid hydrolysate of starch? Because when um, we hydrolyze the uh, starch molecules, so we, we get oligosaccharide. We not only get only glucose, we get, <laughs> we get monomer, we have dimer, trimer or different type of oligosaccharide. There. So, that considered as the acid hydrolyzed, then <laughs> molasses and uh, a mixture of these substances. Nitrogen source, we use the urea and other chemicals uh, is present. So, as per the requirement, we, 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 all, uh, we know that uh, for the growth of bacteria, we know carbon source, we know nitrogen source, minerals and vitamins. The prepared, me prepared media is sterilized in a fermenter by steam and uh, when the temperature of the media is cooled down to 30 degrees centigrade, microorganism is added to the fermenter in proper inoculum size. I, I, I told you that inoculum size of the industrial fermentation process or normal fermentation process is usually varies from 5 to 10 percent volume by volume. Now, in some cases the volume might be more, uh, so you know that, but uh, usually the volume of the uh, inoculum should be 5 to 10 percent. Now, microorganism is inoculated 36 to 48 hours during which the time uh, the pH temperature and aeration rates are carefully controlled because this is the aerobic fermentation process. So, all these things are uh, and you know I told you that uh, that uh, uh, that uh, typical property of the living system they are very sensitive to environment. So, temperature and pH and because aerobic organism they can take the uh, oxygen that is dissolved in the media. So, so, so this is to be maintained properly so that the growth or of the organism take place. When the fermentation is finished, fermentation broth is hydrolyzed with with uh, hydrochloric acid and glutamic acid is obtained in a process analogous to the to that for the recovery of protein hydrolyzed. So, it is uh, that we we after the of the after the fermentation over we get the, uh, the different cell mass and other products and that is hydrolyzed by using the hydrochloric acid and we have seen in protein hydrolysis the protein hydrolysis we use the hydrochloric acid and during this hydrolysis we produce the glutamic acid similar to that process is used. Now, if you look at uh, the steps involved for this process is like this. We use uh, 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 different, we use the uh, ACL, we use uh, uh, starch hydrolysis, we use the ACL and uh, so that we, we get the soluble, where starch usually the insoluble molecules, some soluble starch also there, but you know that uh, that is to be, that is to be degraded to the monomer or dimer so that your organism can utilize it. So, then molasses, it, then it contains good amount of sugar, we required air because for increase the dissolved oxygen concentration, the culture seed, we required the chemicals, we required as per the um, required for the organisms and urea is, a, is considered as a nitrogen source. Now, when hydrolyze that acid, the first steps that we have the neutralization because when we hydrolyze with acid, the pH of the solution we decrease to a great extent. So, you have to adjust the pH and uh, to the extent to the pH that is whatever is required for the fermentation process. Then we do the sterilization and treated with main culture media because then we, we mix uh, this together, maybe all this thing together and we sterilize that. We uh, that culture uh, that you know chemicals urea we mix together, take it to the fermenter, then we sterilize, uh, then we pass the air to it, and then we add culture to it. 
So this is the this is the first we add culture, then we do the uh, aeration. Then we do the pH control as per the requirement of the process. Now after fermentation is over, up to 36 to 48 hours, we get the fermentation broth. Then we concentrate uh, by vacuum that, that uh, and then we we again put the acid for the acid hydrolysis and then uh, here also like protein we have seen that gluten and other molecule that when you do the acid hydrolysis humus carbonaceous material like humus formation is taking place so that humus you take, take, uh, take you, you separate it out through the filtration process then filter it you concentrate cooled and crystallized and uh, separation take place uh, where you can get uh, two type of uh, ma material uh, after the separation of glutamic acid crystals of hydro uh, chloride you will get in the crystal form also you get uh, a good amount of uh, glutamic acid hydrochloride and the soluble form in the model liquid this you can put it back here and, and concentrate further so that more glutamic acid can be recovered and here also like <coughs> like uh, protein hydrolysis you have to remove the iron by using sodium sulfide you have to use the decolorization by using activated charcoal then you have to do the neutralization to 3.2 as per similar as do we did in case of hydrolysis of the protein then separation we get the glutamic acid so these are the this is the process uh, through which we can get the glutamic acid now if you look at the process flow diagram how it produce and actually in practice we have we have molasses we have um, you know, tapioca or then we have nutrient sources we have nitrogen we have air then we uh, we take it to the glutamic acid uh, this is this is carried out in a fermenter this is the aerobic fermentation process then we had hydrochloric acid and this is glutamic acid extractor then glutamic acid separator we adjust the ph with sodium caustic soda then crystallization of uh, the glutamic acid it take place filtration you dry the uh, crystals sieving it and hydrolyze uh, uh, and then and then we we put it in the uh, plastic bags uh, for storage and uh, this is how the glutamic acid is produced in the industry because uh, this is the uh, process flow diagram how it is produced and uh, and if you look at the biochemical pathways how the glutamic acid uh, production take place that also very interesting that uh, we know the tca cycle because in the tca cycle uh, first uh, uh, glucose when you take the glucose glucose first uh, both aerobic and anaerobic organism they go pass through the uh, m down myero pathway after m down myero pathway they <coughs> they uh, produce the pyruvic acid and after pyruvic acid they form the acetyl coa then we have malate uh, glyoxalate the isocytrate citric acid oxal oxal acetate acetyl coa they in combination they produce the citric acid and this isocytric acid and then uh, this is from oxal glutarate and this oxal glutarate it produces the l glutamate acid this is how <coughs> through the uh, biochemical pathway how we can we, how it is produced the glutamic acid and uh, this is what is in practice in the industry so uh, this is all about the glutamic acid fermentation process because because i told you that gluc glutamic acid is a is a is the amino acids pure with the amino acid largely used as a food supplement not only it is used as a flavor enhancer and uh, several products we use this uh, glutamic acid and um, and uh, both glutamic acid can be produced uh, by uh, both uh, biological means by uh, chemical means biological uh, bi biologically we produce by using uh, the protein hydrolysis as well as microbial fermentation process 
when we use the protein hydrolysis we use the gluten we use the uh, different type of uh, proteinaceous material we hydrolyze with h2so4 and i i told you that uh, that uh, that the wheat starch is a good source of gluten because the whatever protein is present that in the wheat starch is the wheat uh, is the is the gluten that uh, that gluten uh, when we hydrolyze with acl then <coughs> then we, we we glutamic acid we produce then we separate out this humus from that and then we uh, we concentrate it and then we crystallize this and when we do the crystallization they we, uh, we 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 can separate out the glutamic acid and the mother liquid mother liquid also contains the good amount of concentrated uh, glutamic acid now similarly microbial fermentation the glutamine uh, the fermentation process also we can use for uh, for uh, this is the bacterial fermentation process we use for the glutamic acid fermentation process main purpose is to produce the cell mass and then we con we, we dry it and we hydrolyze with hcl after hydrolysis of hcl then we usually we follow the same process as we use for the protein hydrolysis and only the thing is that we use the sodium sulfide to remove the iron content in the fermentation broth and also we use the activated charcoal to remove the color from that so um, only i can i can get to give you the small small uh, thing about the chemical process that uh, that in you know, a synthetic process that is used by used by the industry the since the beginning in 19th century synthetic synthetic methods of producing glutamic acid have been intensely intensely studied by many investigators like grehan uh, grehan uh, uh, and uh, the selemot and guthe gunthe uh, they they work together and uh, they found out have presented method for producing glutamic acid from various raw material and by synthetic means but i am not going in details about the the chemical process because main purpose of the course is describe the and the um, biotechnological process so we in in short i can uh, can tell you that like glutamic acid we can produce lysine also and we know that lysine is uh, we, we 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 stay in a country where we are uh, we uh, rice is a staple food and rice uh, the protein content protein has a lack of uh, lysine and the uh, lysine if we supplement with the with the rice the protein utilization efficiency of rice increases to a great extent the so protein uh, that particularly amino acids free amino acids we use in a different form we use not only by addition with the food products but we also doctor sometimes recommend in the form of um, a tonic that we use so when we are we have we have some health problem they give this uh, because there some lack of amino acid uh, might be deficiency is there they then they add some uh, the, the tonic which contains some kind of amino acid which is required for a particular person thank you very much